Okay, I'm going to try to speak up because I know my microphone still sucks on my phone. But I wanted to do this quick video. Um, there's a lot of talk going on about etchants and using coffee and using muriatic acid and uh, ferric chloride, etc., etc. Um, if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, um, they're pretty much a godsend. Um, I am going to be making a large batch of homemade vinegar. Um, hopefully this stuff will turn out with at least um, your standard store-bought vinegar is like 5%. It's distilled and diluted. Um, your homemade vinegar can get just about as strong as you want. So we got this. Ah, oh shoot. I started my phone the wrong direction. Sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> so I got this five-gallon bucket. It's a food-grade plastic bucket. I spray-painted it black just to uh, help absorb any ambient light and help to block out UV rays. On this side, I have approximately two cups of granulated sugar. I have an old t-shirt. Very important. I have one box of cheap Dollar Tree black peacoat something or other tea bags. Pure black tea. I'm going to use the whole box. But I, like I said, I'm doing at least two gallons in here. Um, I have over here on the grill a pot of rainwater that is boiling. It's for non-food use, so I'm not doing it with good quality water, even though it's going to be potable after it's boiled. I also have one other very important thing. Raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. Now... Look down there in the bottom. Okay, so far everything's clear. Give it a little shake. See that cloudy stuff? That's part of the mother. So the process goes. You heat your water as hot as you can get it. That's, that's getting close to boiling. That'll be close enough. I am going to dump that entire box of tea bags into the pot. I'm going to remove it from the heat and let it steep for approximately 20 minutes. I will then scoop out the tea bags and squeeze out all the elixir and I will add the sugar and dissolve the sugar and then I will pour that into my food safe, which doesn't really matter, plastic bucket. Um, once that's all done I'm going to add probably about another gallon of water but I'm going to use tap water just to you know kind of boost things in case there's any stray bacteria, yeast, whatever in the rainwater over there in the barrels. So, um, and then last but not least, you take about half a cup of this raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother, and pour it in the bucket. It should be down to a tepid temperature. We're talking just barely bath water warm. And then I take my t-shirt, drape it over the top so it's covering it, and I tie it off with a string and due to this being the perfect time of year, that bucket will go into that garage, which gets very warm. You want a warm, dark environment for your vinegar to develop. And in about a couple of months, yeah, it does take that long, but the warmer it is, the better. I did a batch one time. I was using gallon pickle jars. And... Uh, I took it was under six weeks and that stuff was so strong I had to dilute it um, your standard recipe to do a one gallon batch if you got a glass pickle jar one gallon of water ten at least ten tea bags don't go overboard but at least ten tea bags um, same process steep them for about 20 minutes make a good strong tea uh, dissolve about one cup of sugar in that for one gallon and then add your mother you can either use the vinegar or if you have the mother left over from a batch of vinegar you made before you can uh, just cut off a thin chunk of that which will typically be floating at the top of the container um, and drop it in there and cover it up with like I said a t-shirt some guys use cheesecloth I don't like cheesecloth because um, it leaves you open for uh, mold and bacteria, uh, unwanted bacteria to get in there. Um, 
so I use something a little bit finer, like a t-shirt. It's got to be able to breathe, and the more head space, and the more wide open space it has, the better. I knew a guy at one point, he actually made a, I think it was a 5 or 10 gallon batch of vinegar, and he did it in a rough tote. And he used a pillowcase as a cover. And it was amazing. He took the, um, I think it's called a SCOBY, the, the bacteria layer that forms on top of it, and he he basically tried tanning it like leather. <laughs> it was kind of cool. So, anyway, uh, Drayson's Forge. Yeah. Going on a safari here. Uh, be well, everybody. Thanks, and uh, there's the fire. Good night, fire, in, this, in the name of Yamez. <laughs> uh, be well, everybody. Take care. Hammer on.